Put the front bolt in. Install the two bolts in the rear fender to hold the airbox on. Remove the subframe bolt. Next we'll install the air boot on the back of the carburetor. I'm leaving the rear shock off at this time to ensure that the boot is properly engaged on the back of the carburetor. Check to make sure that the carburetor boot is in good alignment and tighten the clamp. Install the breather hose. Next, reinstall the gas tank. I need to fish the fuel petcock down between the frame and the front of the valve cover. Slide that out so it's ready to go. Reinstall all the bolts in the tank. Reinstall the fuel line. Turn your gas on. Make sure the carburetor is not leaking anywhere. Reinstall the left side plate. Reinstall the tank hold down strap. So now you've got your rear shock back. We're ready to install it on the bike. Push the subframe out of the way, drop the shock in, go ahead and realign the subframe. Put one of the top subframe bolts in to hold it in position. Slide the bottom shock bolt through and install the nut. Tighten the lower shock nut. And the top shock nut. The subframe bolts. Don't tighten the bolts until all four of them are in place. Now that all four bolts are in place, push down on the rear fender and tighten them. Next we'll install the mid-pipe. Make sure if your mid-pipe requires a well nut that it's slid on there. The FMF ones come with a nice welded on nut. Install the bolt for the mid-pipe. Install the muffler. Once you've started the bolt, tap the muffler. Make sure it's all the way forward. Ready to put on the side number plate. Next, the seat. Always double check. Make sure your hold downs are tight into the tank. Make sure the middle part of the seat fully engages the subframe mount.
Reinstall the seat bolts. If your application requires a spark arrester, the FMF exhaust comes with a nice quieter tip with a spark arrester installation. Remove the Allen screw for the stock baffle. Install your spark arrestor approved sticker. Slide the quiet tip spark arrestor. Make sure to apply some Loctite onto the screw. And with a box end wrench or an Allen, depending on your application, tighten the spark arrestor into place. Turn the fuel on. Two blips of throttle. Some choke. And there you have it. That's a complete installation of the air pump block off kit, air box modification, and carburetor jetting with the aftermarket exhaust. Fired up right away, runs great.